Okay, we're back. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to flip on my little machine here. And I just wanted to show you what I've done so far. If I can bring this up a little closer to show you. Um, what we did is we took... Um, let me see if I can find something to point with here. Um, I'm going to show you how to do these feathers here on the other side. I didn't do them yet, okay? Uh, but all these are little strokes going down with the wood burner and I have it flowing I don't know if you can see that I have them flowing like I would um, you know flowing out and around until it changes I also did these feathers here similar to what I did here with the tail and the back part of the tail okay and these are small little strokes again for the back end here and these were little strokes uh, in between and I'm going to show you how to do all that here briefly Whoops. Don't want things falling over here. Hang on just a second. Um, let me get my glasses on so I can see what the heck I'm doing. It's helpful. So when we get this little guy done, he's going to be with the Pilgrim. You can see. Okay. Uh, that will be a nice little set to put somewhere in my house. And uh, so let's, let's keep going here. Um, this is going to be my last video on the, um, the actual fit here on the carving portion of it and and burning and all I did with the burning here folks is um, take little strokes like so and I crisscross them okay okay just crisscross them and try to and I kind of have an outline where the flow should be on these feathers so that's all I did here is, is make some lines a little longer, some lines a little shorter, you know, and that's all that's involved with this. All right. So it takes a lot of time to get that done, but once you have that done, you'll have a real neat look of this feather flowing, as you see here. Okay. So what I'm going to show you now, I'm going to crank this down just a bit. How do you get this look? And let me explain. When you did these feathers and you drew them, we're going to go back to our page here. What you're going to end up doing, and what you're going to see me do, is you're going to see me push the pen of the heating element pen down deeper over at the at the front and lighter at the top. So, and then curving it inward. Okay, just like that. So this is this is so it's always going to be deeper here where it comes out from underneath. The, the, the next feather and that's how you get that look to look like this see how I have it deeper up here at the top and not as deep here at the end so when you do that uh, it gives you that illusion that it's 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 kind of overlapping but it's indeed it's a flat piece of wood and you wouldn't know you wouldn't know that um, unless you felt it, you know. This here actually has a extra tier here, you know, but this does not. So that is one of the things that we're going to show you how to do over here. Let me go back here. Okay, so I'm going to try to do this as, so we're going to go deeper where it starts and then pull up and try to keep this in focus for you folks. See, I'm going to try to do it deeper on one side where it comes out from underneath that feather okay just like so and then when you do it put the feather in a different direction like I'm gonna have this one going up a little further so we're gonna go deeper and come up just like so okay and then over here we're gonna go the other way. Okay, see how that's coming? Alright, and the same thing up here. We're going to go a little deeper and we're going to flow it. That's going to be our center line of that whole whole feather. And then we come back and we just push it down. Now, I just want to explain something. These wood burning tools, do not buy one from a um, a chain like Michael's or 
AC Moore. That you're not going to find these there. You're going to find this particular kind at a wood carving shop or a place that specializes in it. And if you don't know where to find one, just email me. I have a, a couple of uh, blogs, or I'm sorry, a couple of email. Um, I'm sorry, a couple of websites that I have listed uh, where I get my wood and where you can buy tools and supplies. Okay. So if you're a new new person to this and you need a wood burner, um, I can steer you in the direction where you got to go to get one or the knives or anything that you might need, the carving glove. Okay, so see how we have that all beginning to overlap? Okay, so I'm going to finish up doing this and it will look similar to this when, when we get done. Um, and also your feathering here at the top, it's the same thing as this one here. You want to start here and pull, do your center line all the way up and then a second one. Okay. You're just going to go down one side first, deeper in the middle, and you pull it upward towards the end. Okay, and then have it going towards the end there. Okay, so that's what you're going to do with all these all these feathers here on the side. Hopefully I can finish this in one more segment here. I'll be right back, folks. <laughs> 